I definitely think our team very much practices, you know, there's a great New York Times article about uh, psychological safety within teams, um, and, and Google really kind of frontiered that, that whole approach. Um, but I, I think that's, that's something that we think about a lot, and, and especially the, uh, there's a great article um, that I probably send to someone at least once a week or once every other week whenever they ask about, like, what's a great team like? Um, and so it's really this consent, not consensus. Um, and I don't know if you've read that before, but it's, um, it's a really great, it's a really great short article, like maybe a three minute read. Um, but it really talks about that, you know, great things are not built by everybody agreeing. And the truth is, is that when you get to consensus, the problem with consensus is that you're making compromise. Um, when the reality is, is that you need to have the trust between the different roles in a team that someone will make a decision and other people may disagree, but they trust that person to make the decision for the right reasons. And so that's where that consent to other people making decisions really comes in. And so <clears throat> I definitely think that our team personifies that in a big way. You know, there's been plenty of times where in previous teams, even I would have maybe put my foot down and said, hey, you know, I think this has to happen this way. Um, like disagreeing with the designer or disagreeing like on like a, an element that should be there or not, right? Um, or like, I really think that this is the wrong way to do things uh, when it comes to engineering, right? But the truth is, is that we trust each other enough that um, I will voice my concern, I'll tell them why, and if it doesn't change their mind, I, I step back, right? Like, <laughs> we move forward. And the truth is, is I think, that's, um, I think that's a really interesting point around like how you actually manage product managers too, is that um, the reality is, is that it's more important to make decisions than it is the decision itself a lot of the time. Um, like one of the things I started doing with people, like I think you definitely need to think about things. Like you want to try to plan ahead. You want to try to understand the circumstance. But <clears throat> if you're working in a very rapid iteration cycle, if you're moving very quickly, a decision you make right now is actually very unlikely to totally destroy what you do further on. There are some decisions that are like that. Um, but, but I think like, you know, uh, I would rather someone makes a decision and we move forward and we learn something than we hamstring ourselves for a week just arguing about it. Like, I just don't feel like that's valuable. I mean, I even started, there's a certain point where um, if there is the inability to make a decision or people don't feel strong enough to make a decision, I've been just keeping coins, actually like tokens on my desk. And I'll just say, what are the top two options? And then I'll flip a coin and we just move forward. And there's, a, there's another psychological thing there that when the coin is in the air, everybody actually thinks what their ideal solution is in their head <laughs> before the, the coin actually drops. So there's maybe like a little bit of a trick I'm playing on people with that too. But, uh, but like the reality is, is like for those decisions where we're just like, we don't know like what's the best thing to do right now. Like everything seems okay either way. Let's just do one, whatever one that is. So anyways, but I, I feel like it's like that type of stuff where the team really respects me a lot for the decisions that I try to make. And I respect the team a lot for the decisions they try to make.